Filter is used to remove the AC component which is present in the rectifier output that is pulsated DC. The different types of filters are inductor filter, capacitor filter, L-section filter or LC filter, Pi filter or CLC filter. Inductor filter. The reactance of the inductor is given by Inductor filter allows AC and blocks DC signal. It is always connected in series. High value inductor or choke is connected in series between the rectifier and the load resistor. Inductor opposes the change of current and smoothens the output. Choke offers high impedance to the ripple components. Choke offers zero impedance to the desired DC components. Ripple components are removed largely. Simple series inductor filter is not properly used. It is preferred to associate a shunt capacitor C with series inductor L, thereby converting it into an LC filter. Inductor filter Once the output of the rectifier passes through an inductor, it blocks the AC component and allows only the DC component to reach the load. The rippled factor of inductor is given by it shows that the ripple factor will decrease when L is increased and RL is decreased. When the load current is high, the inductor is more effective. The larger value of the inductor can reduce the ripple and at the same time, the output DC voltage will be lowered as the inductor has a higher DC resistance. To analyze this filter for a full wave, the Fourier series can be rewritten as the DC component is by assuming the third, the higher terms contribute little output. The output voltage is given as the diode, choke and transformer resistance can be neglected since they are very small compared to load resistor. Therefore, the DC component of current is given as the impedance of series combination of L and RL at 2 omega is given as. Therefore, the AC component, therefore, the resulting current I is given by the ripple factor which can be defined as the ratio of the RMS value of the ripple to the DC value of the wave is. Capacitor filter. In full wave center tapped rectifier, during positive half cycle diode D1 conducts and it is in forward bias and diode D2 is reverse biased and the capacitor gets charged to Vm in the time period T1. When the input voltage falls below the capacitor voltage, both the diodes will be reverse biased, thus the capacitor starts discharging through RL. During the negative half cycle, same procedure repeats except D2 on and D1 off. The ripple waveform will be triangular as shown in the output waveform. The reactance of the capacitor filter is given by Capacitor is charging to the peak value of I in the forward bias and discharging in the reverse bias. If T2 is discharging time, then the amount of charge lost is equal to T2 into average current. For better filtering action, let T2 is equal to T by 2. The ripple waveform will be triangular and the RMS value of the ripple is given by. Therefore, from the above equation we get. Therefore, the ripple factor is given as capacitor filter. The simple capacitor is the most basic type of power supply filter. Applications Useful on extremely high voltage, low current power supplies for cathode ray and similar electron tubes. Requires very little load current from the supply. Useful if power supply ripple frequency is not critical. Consists of a high value capacitor placed directly across the load impedance. Capacitor gets charged, 
capacitor stores energy during the conduction, delivers energy to the load during the non-conduction period, current flows through the load resistor and gets increased, ripple component is reduced, useful for all types of rectifiers. Half-wave rectifier with capacitor filter, the output voltage during conduction period is given as, the output voltage during the non-conduction period is given as, the cutout angle is given as, ripple factor is given as. Capacitor filter with full wave rectifier, the diode current during the conduction period is given as, the output voltage during the non-conduction period is given as, the cutout angle is given as, ripple factor is given as.